Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks again for joining us. Uh, you're going to recognize the guy that's next to me because I think, Danny, this is the second time this year that we've had enough. We were out at the fairgrounds. At City Park, yes, at sir. At City Park, uh, and uh, we did an interview uh, not too many months ago. But as you can see, we're out at what we call Bernie Lake or City Lake, or there are lots of different names for it. But this particular area, this lake, the parkland around it, the camping ground around it, uh, the tables, and I see all the activity that's already going on, and here we're the middle of the week, Danny. Yes, sir. <laughs> De describe for us just what has happened with the popularity of this area and, and what we see even during the weekdays as well as the weekends. Yes, sir. Well, we've got about 100 acres of parkland and about 100 acres of water for our water. Um, and as you, if you've been to any state park, national park, or any other open parkland in, in the state of Texas or across the nation, uh, there are a lot of people wanting to get more outdoors, get to the water. It's hot here in Texas. Yeah. Um, and so over the seven years, plus seven plus years that I've been here, uh, we've seen the popularity grow quite a bit. Uh, a lot more people visit now. Uh, we have about year to date about 11,000 cars uh, we, we wow. charge per car. Uh, so about 11,000 cars have come in during our charging season. Um, and so, you know, we've just seen it continue to grow. We, we uh, are happy to have everybody out here. It's always a great time. It's, it's always fun to be out here. So it gets enjoyed not only by City of Bernie folks, Kendall County folks, but then also there's a big popularity even outside of the county itself that we get of those 11,000 cars. Any idea of the breakdown as to where we're getting visitors from or what portion is not from the city? We, we do know which portion isn't from the city. About 77% wow. uh, come from outside of the city of Bernie. Uh, so that's about 2,200 of those 11,000 cars are, are citizens, citizens yeah. of Bernie. Um, and so we, we know that they come from, from outside of Bernie. Um, I would say the majority of them are coming from San Antonio. Uh, they're coming from New Braunfels. They're coming from Fredericksburg, Kerrville. And that's just talking to people as they come. Sure. Um, they, they, like, they love to come to the lake. It's less crowded. It's cleaner. It's more, uh, more well-kept than some of the other lakes around. Um, and we always get lots and lots of compliments by the people that are visiting. And so then all the activities that, that they enjoy out here, what, what's that waterfront? What is that? Who are those and what are they using? I mean, I see some paddle boats out here. I see some big blow-up entertainment for the kids. What are the other things that, that folks can enjoy if they come here to Bernie Lake? So the really great thing about Bernie Lake is, as you notice, no jet skis, no power boats, nobody's buzzing by you. You don't have to worry about your kids, whether they're going to get run over or when you're on a kayak fishing, whether you're going to get swamped off your kayak and fall over. Um, so that's really a big draw for this lake. So we don't allow any gas-powered engines on the lake. Um, so we do have paddleboard and kayak rentals out here at the lake through Hill Country Paddle Sports. Um, they're out here typically seven days a week whenever it's summer during the season on the weekends when we're a little bit out of season uh, You can rent a paddleboard. You can rent a kayak. You can bring your own There's no additional fee to bring in a, a, a boat. You can bring in a boat with a, a trolling motor or electric motor uh, So we have a lot of fishermen out here. We have a lot of kayakers I spend a lot of time out here kayaking and fishing We have a lot of people that just come out here to swim float like you said float uh, right. uh, Float out there in the water enjoy the water. We have a disc golf course uh -huh. So if you've never played Frisbee golf, you should definitely come do that. Um, a lot of people enjoy it. We get a lot of compliments on the course from, from the players. Uh, we also have a playground, uh, walking trails, bird watching, um, a pavilion, barbecuing. So lots of, lots of activities. Anything you can do at the lake, you can do here uh, and do it in a much more peaceful atmosphere. And then the, the general rules, I mean, other than the ones that you've stated, I mean, there's no jet skis or anything like that on the, on yes, the water. Sir. Some of the general rules that we follow here in our park? Common sense. No glass. Uh, we obviously don't want glass breaking. Keep your dogs on a leash. Keep the music down. Enjoy your day. Uh, be considerate and friendly to the others around you. Um, and just enjoy. Uh, those, are, those are the main things. Pick your trash up so we don't have to come out here and pick it up. Pick up after your dogs and your pets when you're out here and have a good time. Well, and we got as I look around here, we got plenty of trash cans. Yes, sir. Yes, so there sir. should be no reason why anybody would not pick up their trash. And we but, have staff here seven days a week emptying those cans because that's the big thing that you see at places. Trash cans get full, then they overflow. People stop using them. So we're we're here seven days a week. We're here on Saturdays and Sundays, trying to keep those as empty as we can, so that people have a place to put them um, and and keep it as clean as we can. That's great. That's great. Uh, the fees, Danny. How, yes, do, how do we charge our fees? 
So as you know, our, our citizens here in Bernie pay property taxes to the city of Bernie, and part of that, they get uh, two passes to the lake. If you don't live inside the city of Bernie and pay that property tax, then you can pay to come in uh, per carload. So we don't charge per individual, we charge per carload. It's faster, uh, it's easier, it gets people off the road and into the park as fast as we can. And we charge $10 during the weekday, 15 on the weekends and 20 on the holiday. There are some discounts for our seniors over 65, for um, our military, active and retired military, uh, and for uh, disabled. You know, you, you're talking about charging per carload. I remember when I was a, a kid in school, I wish we would have had that because going into the drive-in movie theater, <laughs> uh, it was by head, and I would not have had to hit in the trunk or something like <laughs> right. that to, to be able to get into the movies. I remember as a, a kid, I probably shouldn't be, you know, sharing that, but that, that's what we did when we were kids. We, we've seen some things. We used to do a per person. Yeah. Uh, this is a lot less conflict. Yeah, I'll bet it <laughs> a is. lot easier to count. I'll, I'll bet it is. And, you know, this one's just a child, so you don't cut charges much, all that sort of thing. Yes, sir. Um, movie in the park uh, this Friday. Tell us a little bit about that. So, as I told you guys last night at council meeting, National Parks and Reg Month this month. So, we have a lot more activities. We normally have one movie a, a, week, a month. This month, we have two. We also had the pool party last Friday, the free family at, at the pool. Uh, we have the star party here next week. But this Friday, right here at the, at the lake park, we're going to have inflatables, we're going to have games, and we're going to have Moana. Oh, on wow. the big screen, 40-foot infl inflatable screen. So if you haven't come and seen that thing, it's it's great. Well, I've seen the movie with my <laughs> granddaughter at least three times. So okay. I, I can almost start telling you what the lines are in the, that movie. Yes, sir. Um, anything else that you want to tell us about the lake itself and the activity around it? Uh, anything else that you want to share that I have not covered by asking you a question? Well, as always, we want to thank uh, our VFW Post 688. They are adopted. They have adopted the park. They come out and do monthly cleanups. Uh, help tremendously with keeping trash picked up. A tremendous at to, asset to us, as well as all of our Cub Scouts and um, groups that come out here that do uh, projects. So a lot of our trash can holders, uh, uh, barbecue pits, things like that, were done by. Uh, Eagle Scouts uh, doing their Eagle Scout projects, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts coming out here and do weekend cleanups and projects. So all those groups that come out and we can use all the help we can get and, and we're lo we love to have them out here to be a part of that. Um, so if you're interested, contact us and uh, we'd love to bring you out here and let you come into the lake and enjoy it, but also do a project. Well, Danny, this, this place is absolutely gorgeous. It is well-groomed and, and on behalf of the citizens of Bernie and I know City Council, you, do, you and your staff do an incredible job of making our public facilities look nice. Well, thank they are you always much. well groomed, they are mowed, they are edged, and they always look over the top. Whether we're walking down the trails, or whether we're down at River Park trying to feed the ducks, which we're not <laughs> supposed to be doing, or whether we're out here at the, at the lake. I mean, they're just, they're nice. And here it is Wednesday, and I bet you very quickly I can count maybe 20 different tables that are occupied by a family picnicking, cooking hamburgers, out on the water, uh, whatever the case may be. That takes a lot of work and a lot of schedule. Thanks for your leadership doing that. We have some tremendous employees yep. uh, that have a real passion for what they do, and that makes all the difference in the world. They uh, they care about what they do, and that, that makes a big difference. Uh, I, I, get, I get compliments for the city employees all the time, and, and certainly compliments on our parks. And again, thank you for the role that you play in all of that. Thank Stay you. Stay right here, though, because I want to add, just to wrap everything up, we did have a city council meeting last night. You can see behind us, obviously, the lake. It is one of three water sources that the city of Bernie gets to enjoy. Our largest source uh, is our contract with the uh, uh, GBRA, Guadalupe Blanco River Authority, and the water contract that we get getting water out of Canyon Lake. Um, I'm going to I'm going to give you a percent. I'm probably off a little bit, but I think somewhere around 50 percent, 45 to 50 percent of our water for the city of Bernie comes from that contract. Now we have a contract for a population of about 38 to 40 thousand. Uh, we've got a 15,000 population today. Bernie Lake is our second source. We've got about 13 wells, nine of them that are really active, and that is then our third source, and a source that we don't want to use. In fact, last night, City Council voted to take some more of our contract water from GBRA. They took another 325 acre feet. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's about a third of what we take already. 
uh, to again do the prudent thing, not use as much as city and well water that we have to, but use that pipeline water that we get out of uh, out of Canyon uh, Canyon Lake, and also to address our our growth that's going on in Bernie. Uh, the other things uh, last night we had a. Uh, a public hearing on uh, a number of different things. First of all, there was the um, our master plan. There was a public hearing on two, three zoning different issues. 12 Herf got zoned last night on the first reading, um, and then a couple of more. Outside of that, there was the big water project. There were a number of people in city council last night that were addressing in public comments and public hearing. Uh, about uh, whether to be attaching or using as an exhibit, including it in our master plan, that being the Kendall County Gateway Study, which is the thoroughfare plan. And we'll see where that goes. Public comments go until the 20th of July. Uh, from there, the P&Z will be taking it up to provide a recommendation to City, uh, City Council. They'll take that up at their first meeting in August. That's August the 6th. So, again, as I end every one of these, if you've got any comments, any questions, uh, please get them to the city, and uh, we will address those uh, at our next time together. Once again, Danny, thank, thank you, you so much for everything. Thank really you. Really appreciate it. Thanks, folks.